Congratulations, you have watched all the YouTube videos out there, you've done your research, maybe you watched my video, Don't Buy a House Now Unless, and you've decided that 2021, you are gonna buy a house. Well, if you can't tell, we're super excited for you. It wasn't an easy decision, but we're glad you made it. So we're here with eight action steps that you need to take in order to go from the dream of buying to having those keys in your hand. Hey there, Christian Walsh, Cobalt Banker Wire Associates. We're real estate brokers based in Southern California who help tenants and landlords and buyers and sellers in California and beyond. Let's get started. If you're ready for your eight action steps, hit that like button and we'll get going. Number one, the very first thing you need to do is you need to sit down and create a mission statement for buying your home. And I know this sounds crazy, but you're gonna sit down and you're gonna write not just what you want in a home and dare to dream, dream big, but also why you want a home, why you've worked hard to come up with this decision, make it an essay, make it a list, but this is your mission statement. And why are you doing this? Because there's gonna be haters, there's gonna be doubters, there's gonna be people telling you not to buy a home. You're probably gonna see it in comments below <laughs> this video as well. But at the end of the day, I want you to be able to look back at this, sit down and remember the reasons why you decided to go down this path to buy a home. And it won't just be other. There will be times where you're going to doubt why you're doing this. You're gonna to have to submit multiple offers. I talked about this in my Don't Buy Now video. It's an absolute roller coaster to buy a home and you're gonna be doubting that. And you may even get one under contract, think you're on your way and find out there's something in the home that kills the deal and you're back to the drawing board. It will be tough, but come back to your mission statement, refocus, and remember why you're doing this. So number two is you need to schedule your home time and your home work. And this is gonna take a lot of time in order for you to do the research you need and to ultimately close on the home of your dreams. So you need to go ahead and start carving that time out now. And the different phases of the process are gonna require different amounts of time. So figure out what works with your schedule. So if you have a few hours a day, a few hours a week, calendar it and commit to it. The stages early on where you're doing research into neighborhoods and looking at listings and things like that, those can typically be done at odd hours, late at night. But as you get further into the process, when you have a home under contract, it's gonna be more time intensive, so you're gonna need more time committed to the project and it'll tend to have to be in the daytime where you'll have to do certain odds and ends. So right now, make sure you're committed to setting the time aside in order for you to do your homework. Of course, the other big part of time is figuring out when you wanna close, when you wanna be in the new home. So make sure you figure out that date, and then you're gonna run that by your real estate professional that you hire in order to figure out exactly what needs to happen when how much time you have for research, when you should be doing showings, when you should be writing offers. You're gonna to have to work backwards from that. Number three is count your coins. And you're gonna need a lot more than a few coins to buy a home, but we've gone over this in other content. You're gonna need funds for the down payment. You're gonna need funds for closing costs. You're gonna need money for repairs. You're gonna need money for upgrades. And you're also gonna need money to maintain the home. So those are important things. You need to have those reserves, have that money set aside, and you're also gonna need a paper trail. So the lender, if you're doing a loan, is going to need a paper trail to show where the funds came from and where they're headed. So make sure you count your coins. This is also a good time to talk to your CPA, especially if you're gonna be using retirement funds. So make sure you talk to a professional with exactly what you plan on doing with these funds. Number four is a big one. You need to check your credit score and you're gonna visit annualcreditreport.com. This is the government sanctioned site and this is where you get a free report. You get access to the TransUnion, Experian and Equifax reports. You will not get your credit scores and you don't really need to worry about those yet. Uh, that'll come further down the road. We'll talk about when you'll do that. But you're gonna pull those reports. You're gonna look for inaccuracies, errors, wrong addresses, wrong accounts. You're gonna look for overdue accounts, things like that. You need to do this early on because this is often an impediment 
to getting a loan or getting the best loan later on. Number five is be ready to file your taxes. So this will depend on when you're watching this video. I'm filming it in December. There's my Christmas decorations there, but you need to be ready. So if, if it's December or January, you won't have your W-2s or 1099s till the end of the month, but you need to be ready to file your taxes. As it gets later into the year, lenders are gonna require that your taxes are done. And even if you've missed the deadline and you wanna extend till October to file your taxes, your lender's gonna need the, the taxes to be filed ahead of time. So this is a kind of an important step and a lot of YouTubers don't know or just skip over this, but make sure you're ready, you have your ducks in a row to file your taxes as soon as you can for 2020 in the year of 2021. We're just flying through these action steps. Now we're on number six, and this is when you hire the absolute best real estate agent you can find, and you're going to strategize together. So this is a very important step, and you can't be using your long lost uncle's aunt, stepbrother, sister's friend who's gonna kick back some money, because you need somebody, and you need the absolute best agent who knows what you wanna buy, knows the product, knows the exact thing, and knows where you wanna buy, knows the process. You need somebody who sells a lot of real estate and who sold a lot of real estate recently. It is a very different world thanks to coronavirus. I can't forget how an agent called me on one of my listings recently and I said, hey, I need the PEED form. In California, it's a form that's required because of coronavirus in order to see any real estate and this agent had no idea what a PEED form was. Now, no offense to this agent, but that shows you that's not somebody who in the past nine months has sold any real estate. So that's what I want for you. I want you to find the person who's gonna take the best care of you. This person is gonna put your interests in front of their own. They're gonna tell you what to avoid. They're gonna navigate you through the entire process from start to finish, from finding a home, through the escrow or being under contract process to closing, there's a lot of bumps along the way. And they'll help with unique situations. For example, if you have a home to sell and they're gonna help you navigate that whole process. So you will hire the best real estate agent you can and they're gonna help you map out the timing and map out the plan. So number seven is you are gonna hire the best loan officer you can find and strategize together. And of course your real estate agent will have advice on some folks that you can turn to, but this is a very important step and it's never too early to do this. Even if you're saying you're gonna buy at the end of 2021 or it gets pushed into 2022, it's never too early. So make sure, find a good lender, find a good loan officer. You're gonna give the loan officer everything she or he needs. You're gonna give them the bank statements, pay stubs. You're gonna pull your credit at this point in time because you want your credit scores with the lender's report. So you want the lender to pull your credit scores because it'll be slightly different from when you pull your own credit scores. So the lender's gonna do this for you and you are going to figure out exactly what you can afford and you're gonna figure out what you wanna spend. This is where you're gonna budget. Some people qualify for way more than they expect or way more than they wanna spend. You decide what your budget is. That's a big important piece of the puzzle and that's why it's never too early. As the year goes on, if you do this early, you just have to freshen things up in the files, so you give some new bank statements and pay stubs, and you also need to watch interest rates as well and periodically check in to see if that changes what you can afford. But this is an important, important step. And then once you've got this person on your team, you're gonna sit down and you're gonna map out the timeline with this person as well. And part of this will be figuring out whether you're ready to go or no. There may be a few things you need to do to improve your credit score, such as paying off debt. A lender will be able to help you strategize the best things you can do so that you're in the perfect position when you're ready to go. And number eight, we are at our last action step, but there's a bonus one, so stick around. So number eight is research your market. So you're gonna have to do homework as well. You can rely on your agent for answers, your friends and your family. You're gonna wanna dive into the data and learn as much as you want about where you're going to buy. And that's what's great now with resources out there. Great websites like greatschools.org, homefacts.com. You can do research on zoning, crime, schools, planes, trains, and automobiles, make sure you're not in the uh, flight path or near train tracks. 
All these things and a whole lot more you can research on your own online right now. As far as real estate, so homes and investment properties, you can of course visit the big websites that everybody knows, but if you hire the right real estate agent, they're going to be helping you in this process. They should have their own great website. For example, I have a great website. So if you want homes and real estate in Orange County, Los Angeles or Riverside, I have a link below, you can subscribe there and it'll send you that stuff. Your agent's also gonna be sending you stuff as well but you need to go ahead and start tracking the markets you wanna be in, and you wanna see what new listings come on, you wanna see the inventory, you wanna see how quickly the inventory goes, you wanna see price reductions, price increases. Dive in, have fun with this. This is also the time where you consider other types of real estate, and you can rely on your agent for help with this as well, but look into new construction, look into duplexes, triplexes, fourplexes, vacant land. Go ahead and, and spread your wings, try out a few different things and see if some of these other things will work as well. It doesn't have to be just resale homes. So you're gonna to continue to do your research, you're gonna get out there, you're gonna look at homes and real estate in person and drive through neighborhoods. Then you're gonna write offers and then you are going to get a home or piece of real estate under contract and eventually one of these will be yours. But wait, there's bonus number nine and that is the most important action step which is enjoy the ride. So it's gonna be scary, emotional, stressful, suspenseful. You're gonna doubt yourself. You're gonna doubt others at times, but it will finally be all worth it when you walk through that front door on your very own place. So I hope you found this helpful. We know we ran through these steps pretty quickly, but these are important action steps to get you from a dream to keys in your hand. We are here to help. Let us know in the comments below if you're gonna buy in 2021, when you're gonna buy, and what steps you're most worried about. We wanna hear and we'll help answer those questions. We've got some links below for you, including some of the websites we referenced, and also our listing reports if you're interested in homes in LA, OC, or Riverside, you can sign up for that. Another important thing we offer, and a link below, is our weekly free email newsletter. We'd be honored if you signed up for it. We cover topics like this and other relevant stuff for tenants and landlords, buyers and sellers. So whether you're buying for your first home, your last home, something in between, or an investment property, we can help you with that process and give you the answers and the content you need. So thanks for tuning in. This has been Christian Walsh, Cobalt Banker Wire Associates, and we appreciate you.